Hello everyone, this is Gus the Sleepertist, and today we will be going around the village and decorating and making it more hospitable and habitable for the local residents because the villagers have been posting on the local um, Facebook site that they don't like how their village looks and their their houses are very boring. So we're going to light this place up make it more safe for them, fix any holes and whatnot, and make their inside make their inside of their houses more interesting. We'll get that later. So I did some gathering. I dyed some sheep blue by I got lapis lazuli and then you just right click on them with it and shear them and they turn blue. And I got some ink sacks from killing squid and we, what we are going to do with this is we are going to make a banner like this. So if you just change the wool color, we'll change the banner color. We're going to take our banner, and then we're going to do th um, this. Or how do we do it? I don't, don't remember. Uh, why isn't this working? Okay, so hmm. Hang on, I'm going to figure out how to do this. Okay, so I forgot how to do it, so I looked it up again, and this is what I want to do. So we're going to make a coat of arms for the village. So you're going to want to do that, and then that. And as you can see, it makes this pretty cool design here. So now what we can do is if we make another banner, we can take this banner, and we can do that. And it'll make another banner for us just the same way. And what we can do with that, that I want to do, is if we put a shield and banner, you can put that banner on the shield. So as you can see now, I am rotating that. I've got a pretty cool shield. Ah. There we go. Okay. So, first off, what we're going to do is we are going to put crafting tables in all these houses. So, this house needs a crafting table right over here. Um, we'll make another one. Make a few. I'm gonna put crafting tables in all the houses. One in there, and let's get all the rid of all that. In here, the crafting table there, just like in the other one. In here, oh, it already has a crafting table. Librarians have some of the best houses because they're actually furnished. These guys have some pretty decent houses, but there's nothing in them. How sad. And let's also fix this. Like that. And we need to light this place up. So let's place torches like this. Like that. And that. And I don't want that there. There. Oh, and a crafting table, of course. Because that's what we were here for. Uh, I need to empty out some of my space. Some of my stuff. I got too much stuff. Oh, we need to fix that. This guy needs a door. These villages don't um, get created perfectly. They oftentimes have flaws like that. Oh, well, we don't need rotten flesh. That's not useful at all. Get some, shut the door. Put a door. And then I think we should make another crafting table. Right in there. Okay. This house is pretty dark too. Let's light it up. Take that out. 
Yes, we're finally taking care of this, guys. I know you've been waiting a long time for this. Let's put that over there. And one more house looks like. Or maybe we already got this one. Yeah, we already got this one. So now we're going to go to um, one of the big houses and we're going to furnish it a bit. Uh, actually, this needs a door and a crafting table. Hello there. These guys have a pretty nice roof up here. We need to light this up too because zombies have a tendency to spawn up here. And then they can just climb down and attack the villagers inside and the villagers won't run away. Oh, this is dark. Dark and gloomy. Let's fix that. Okay, so I just want to fix this house though. Whatever. Put that there. And what we should do with this one is I think we should make a pressure plate. Maybe some fences. Oh no. Okay, so we'll put a how about we make this look like a restaurant? I think that would be cool. Yeah, let's do that. Make it look like a restaurant. So we'll just take that, and then we need to make some more pressure plates. Oops. Put one here. Like that. And one here. Like that. Probably put one here like this. And one over here like this. I don't know, let's see how that looks when it's done. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take these, and these are going to be the chairs. I think we need to um, get rid of some of these. Space it differently. We should do chair here, so table. And space in between chair there, and then chair there, and table somewhere else. Now, the one problem with the pressure plates is that they have a tendency if you touch them, you'll activate them. And it makes an annoying noise. Now what we can do with these is if you aim carefully, you can do something like, oops, see that's what happens. So stairs, depending on where you aim at the block, will change where they go. Actually, no. Put the entrance here. I know you can jump over, but, you know, pretend you can't. There, now we got ourselves a sort of restaurant. Um, what else do I not need? I'm, I need to put some stuff away. But first, let's call this the restaurant. I probably didn't spell that right. But, you know, oh well. Oh, and look! It's Mr. Blue Sheep, and we need some more blue wool. So, come here. There. So if you right-click on sheep, and then when they eat, they grow again. And then we can do that. I know you don't like being naked, but deal with it. It's for the good of the cause. It's for the cause. Now what should we do with this? I think we should make this like a shop. So we'll move this over here. We'll put those there. And one up there. And then, um, we can, I 
think we should do some of these like this for shelves yeah, that looks cool of course we can't really put anything there well we could put some we could have this as a bookstore put some books like that I don't know maybe we should do these stairs Let's try stairs, see how that looks. Maybe it'll look better. I don't know. Then like oh. So close. I need more wood. Darn it, I thought I had enough. Yeah, I think that looks better. You guys can do whatever you want. I personally think this looks better that up there to look cool. And maybe we should put just some tables so people can sit down and read if they want. This. Put the pressure plates on. Yeah. Let's do that. Hey! There will be none of that! I'm trying to eat the villagers. Nerves of some people. So, what do you think we should do for this house? I think it looks good how it is. Yeah. I think now what we need to do is light everything up. Oh. Hello there. The wild buddy. So, I never got to show you guys what angry wolves will do if you hit one. And I'll show you. That's what happens. They don't drop anything useful, just XP. So yeah, not very good. So I'm going to collect some resources and make more torches and stuff, and I'll meet you guys back here once I'm done. This is what the problem with the murder holes is. These guys don't have the IQ level to not just fall right back in. Dude. Come on, that's the fifth time. Are and then if more come, his buddies join. Like these guys. You know what? Die. I'll just leave you to die. So I lit up the village I made. I accidentally too many torches. I made four stacks of torches by using an entire thing of um, coal. And I've just placed torches everywhere. So now I've got a different thing to do. I also collected a ton of blue wool. Took a while. But I finally had enough. So now what we can do is we can make a bunch of banners out of this. Do I have... Or please tell me I have wood for this. <sighs> oh good, I can make some wood. Good, I got wood. Probably is more than that. So I'll just do that and then that and that. Make a bunch of banners. And take all the rest of it and make a bunch more. So now what we can do is we can put banners like this and this. And now we have a lot of banners. So I think what we're going to do with this is... Should we make pillars to put them on? Yeah, I think we'll do that. So I'll go get some wood for the pillars. Because we're going to do something like this. 
except we're just going to put um, banners on it. So, see you guys in a sec. So, I got a bunch of fences, so I can show you all what we are going to do. So, I'm not going to have a whole lot of these. I'm going to use blue wool instead. So, we'll put them in big open spaces like this. And then, we'll need some scaffolding, I guess. We do need these. Let's go up, place that. Went back down, and then we have that. And then we can put these on it. That looks pretty cool, I think. So, yeah. Do that there. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Use shears to mine wool the fastest. There's place banners around like this. So this is going to be this village's coat of arms. And since we live in this village, we have it too. So that neighboring villages, travelers coming in between, will know this village. Now we're going to save a few to put on our house because we are like the mayor. I mean, certainly these dimwits couldn't run this place. They're too busy trying to get out of holes. Or, well, sometimes the smarter ones are. So for our house, I think we'll put there and there, and then maybe, how about, I think that's it for now. Put these, oops, this place. Why am I using a pickaxe? I think I'm a professional for how long I've played Minecraft, and yet I still make these really dumb mistakes. I don't know how, I just do. So I think that's pretty good. So now, got that everywhere. Oh, this place is pretty dark. Yeah, nighttime is the best time to go around and just place torches, because you can actually see where it's dark and where it needs it. Oh, we'll have to fix that at some point. And there's something I forgot to tell you about plants and light. Plants grow faster when they are lit. And they also grow faster if they have um, different plants of different types touching them. So a giant wheat field won't grow as fast as like a wheat and potato field. Or like our garden, which grows really fast. Everywhere. If you have a ton of coal like me, then and that many torches, then just go ham on the torch place. So I put some around there, and I think we should probably collect these so that we can make more. Okay, so place your pumpkins in here and do that. And then put your melons and do that. So, I don't know how. Got a problem? Back off. Just do it like this. And it's okay if you make mistakes, just try not to. It doesn't matter too greatly. If 
you have an infinity bow, bow or a bunch of arrows, you can just spam on the you can just spam shoot. You like my cats? I like them too. Don't take them. Hope I didn't give that guy any ideas. I think we are going to make some desserts and a clock. So to make a clock, it's just like a compass except with gold. So like this. And it shows, see if we hold it there, it shows the time. So what you can actually do is you can get an item frame and you can put it in the item frame and it'll just be like if you hung it up. We have plenty of leather, that's for sure. Let's go put our produce away and then we can make our dessert. Um, that's not what I wanted there. Where do I need more wood? I'm gonna go get some wood real quick. Okay. Okay, so I'm back where we left off. And I got more wood this time. So I'm actually prepared. And you need a bunch of sticks like that, if you remember. And then you just place the item frame, and then you right click to put the clock on. And as you can see, it still shows the time. Wait. I'm gonna go back up. Well, I guess I might as well take this. Got a problem with me climbing? Need climbing lessons? I know you guys are really good at climbing down, but not very good. Or very good at climbing up, but not very good at climbing down. So this is how you make cookies. Like, as you can see, we get a ton of them. So we now have a bunch of cookies. Let's go see if we can't make ourselves hungry. Ouch. Oh, I need to fix that. Get those zombies getting back out. You didn't see anything. He agrees. The mayor says that you agree, or else. Okay, so as you can see, we are hungry. So if you eat a cookie, it only does one heart. Or, it only fills up one meat pop. So, they're pretty good food if you are not very hungry, but if you're really hungry, stick to the steak. And I think we should go do some gardening. Let's do that. And then we'll have to get off because this is getting to be a pretty lengthy video. I misplaced the beats. Great, now I have to fix that. I will get all my produce back. I'm just throwing stuff temporarily. You can also eat potatoes just as they are, but they don't do very much. And you want to watch out for poisonous potatoes, because they are not good eats. What do I not need? Sticks. Sorry, sticks. Don't need you. Uh, I should probably get those wheat seeds. I'll be right back. We have lots of apples. Oh, uh, wait. We want our cookies. We'll, ha we'll have one cookie. So another librarian fell through the trap, so I kept him, because I didn't feel like, I felt that it would be a much better place. And it's also nice having um, villagers inside my basement, because it draws zombies in, so they fall into these holes. Aw, oh, dang it. Sorry, I'm not gonna cure you. There's a lot of 
lot of zombie villagers. Let me go investigate. Alright guys, what's up? You guys don't get very smart, do you? Morons. <sighs> Not known for their intelligence, zombies. They are known in this game for how far they can find you. You can also place maps in item frames like this. This is a giant map that I made. And I'll show you guys how to make one in a later episode. But currently, we are out of time. So that's episode 16, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and or subscribe. Goodbye.